Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic by Clint Barker. Let's check this here out. Here we happen to have another 260Q uh, balloon, all right, that you could probably buy in a party supply store somewhere. And uh, here we happen to have is a balloon pump. Yeah, you could actually get a manual one, like this one over here. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, this is so portable, bring it anywhere. But uh, if you have a lot, a lot of balloons, like one time I had a blow up ball, about maybe 600 balloons, something like this. That, that's a lot of balloons. So <laughs> I, I couldn't just use this. So what I had to do is I had to get an electric balloon pump to help out. And uh, this here balloon pump here, which is really awesome. It came with these here two uh, dust covers. So the dust and the dirt doesn't get into where the air blows up. Because you want the dust and the dirt to fly up all over in someone's eyes or something or other. Or inside of a balloon. So when it pops, some more dust and dirt goes flying everywhere. <laughs> so it's nice to have the, the dust covers. So now I'm just going to remove the, the dust covers. Because if you turn on the balloon pump with the covers on, they'll poof. <laughs> shoot up to the ceiling. <laughs> so anyhow. Okay, so check this here out. Uh, the balloon pump has two settings, this one anyways. The one here switched to the right would have the air come out both sides. <laughs> it's a little loud, right? Woo loud. <laughs> so however, if you don't want the balloon pump on all the time, there's another setting here which you push a switch to that side. And it's on, but you don't hear it because this itself is a switch. This side, no switch. This is just solid on this side. But this here, if you want to put the nozzle of the balloon over top, like that, sort of hang on to this, uh, the blue thing so it doesn't go down as you slide the balloon on a little bit. Now, while hanging on to the balloon, <clears throat> you want to uh, push down and pull a little bit. There we go. That was quick. <laughs> so now, let's go, go like this. You want to tie a knot in a balloon, just like that. And we are going to try to make a gray squirrel. Yeah, a gray squirrel. We're just going to do about a one inch balloon twist here, a half an inch balloon twist here. Now you want to bring this and this and twist them together, and that's called a pinch twist. Mm -hmm. Now you want to do another, uh, like you did at the beginning right here, you can do another one inch twist here. That'll be the top of the head. And you want to do another uh, half an inch balloon twist here. And then you want to bring this and this together and twist them together. That's the half an inch uh, pinch twist, rather, right here. So now you should have something like this. You might want to replay the video overall. But uh, however, you got two pinch twists, right? And that'll be the ears, mm -hmm, the pinch twists. That's the top of the head. And this here is going to be the face. So now you want to take this and this, <laughs> yeah, you got to twist them together. <laughs> Watch carefully. Grab this. Now you might want to pull this up a little bit in the bottom up to get this to go to here. Like that. And then you just twist together. Don't worry, they never ever pop. Only once in a while. <laughs> so go like that. There you go, that's the head of the squirrel. Yeah, the squirrel has a neck too. Yeah, squirrels have necks. They go like this. Put a one inch balloon twist there for the neck. Now the squirrel has little front legs, you know, running around and all that. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a, another twist here. And you always keep an eye on the end, how much you have uninflated. Because you don't want to over inflate the balloon and make it because then you won't be able to finish making a balloon. So you leave a little axis on the end, uninflated, like a little tail. All right, make sure of that. Now over here, we do a one inch, one inch, and then we're gonna do the same size as this balloon over here. Are you ready? Okay, ready. You wanna make sure that doesn't untwist. <laughs> sort of use the side of your hand here to hold on to it, or put it against your body even, like this. All right, and do the one inch. 
one inch. Or it could be a little smaller, one inch, not by much. And then bring it down like this. Uh, measure this to here and approximately here. You want them the same size if possible. Like that. Look at that, it's coming along really good. And now you want to have the body and the legs are going to look a little different and you want the big tail. So you just sort of uh, use your imagination and try a couple times. You might not get it right the first or second time, but you want to try to bend this like this. All right. And you're going to bend this like this. Okay. And then you want to twist one, two, three all together and let that uh, air travel through into the tail that's uninflated here. Okay? Okay, so now that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's sort of uh, eye it here and twist all together. Well, Maybe I should make the front legs smaller. <laughs> However, like I said, you try and try again. Uh, the body in, ended up being a little too small right now. It's kind of hard to just make the balloon and explain it here. But that's basically what you want to do. Because what you want, which we actually accomplished, we want a great big long bushy tail like the squirrels outdoors has. The great big long bushy tails. Well, let's see your guy really has a long tail. And this here could be like chestnuts or something rather with his uh, legs hanging onto some sort of food to bury in the ground for the winter time. So, but there you go. There we happen to have is a squirrel. You can also take a magic marker and draw a couple eyes, whatever, nose and mouth and that sort of thing. Like you see on the other balloon tutorials. And there we go, everybody. Uh, I want to say thank you very much for watching uh, Magic by Clem Barkhouse and come back again to see a lot more magic tricks, fun and exciting, mesmerizing magic tricks and uh, many more balloon tutorials. As you can see, I've been doing a few of them. <laughs> All right. Take care. Enjoy, everybody.